Greetings, beloved Princeton United Methodist Church community. It's Pastor Jenny here with an update for you, and I'm reading today from Romans chapter 8, verse 10. But if Christ is in you, though the body is dead because of sin, the spirit is life because of righteousness. This is the word of life. Thanks be to God. So that, that sentence, that verse, is from um, Romans, which is a very dense and challenging book. It is, um, uh, it, it, is, it is not the easiest book in the Bible to read through and understand quickly what it means and what Paul is trying to say. But if we can boil it down, what Paul is trying to do in this moment is he's trying to describe what a relationship with God is, what a relationship through Jesus the Son, uh, enlivened by the Holy Spirit, looks like. He's trying to describe a relationship that um, that matters, a relationship with a living God that changes us as, as, a, as people, as individuals, but also as a community of people that then changes the world. And this is big stuff, and we talk about it a lot. But in this worship series that we're in right now called By Your Spirit, we are kind of focusing on this in a little different way, um, a particular way, I guess I should say, um, that is through the lens of the Holy Spirit. So we are talking about you know, by your spirit. And, and I've invited you to pray um, the end of our Thanksgiving, great Thanksgiving communion prayer daily with me. And so I want to share these words again and bring this into, the, into our thoughts today as well. Here are these words, and I invite you, if you have learned them already or have your card handy, you can say them with me. You know, part of why I have invited you to say it daily is so that it can become part of, part of us, right? When we, um, uh, the, the aim is not to memorize it, but the aim is to let it sink into us. So it is on our hearts and our lips and our minds, so it's part of us. So, by your spirit, make us one with Christ, one with each other one in ministry to all the world, until Christ comes in final victory and we feast at the heavenly banquet. Through your Son, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit and your holy church, all honor and glory is yours, almighty God, now and forever. Amen. The Holy Spirit does many things in, in and through and with us, but in this prayer and in so much, if we again boil that down, boil the Holy Spirit's um, purpose, mission down, I, I think we would have to say it has something to do with relationship, with connecting, with bringing people into union with Christ, with each other, um, and a community uh, seeking unity in the world. Um, and, you know, as I think about being one with Christ, which is our particular focus this week, as I think about what Paul is saying, as I think about this prayer, as I think about the ways that we have images for um, oneness with Christ, um, from popular songs to different images um, in our in our world to uh, the vine and the branches, which is probably one of my favorite images from, from the um, book of John, 14th chapter of John. Um, Jesus is the vine, we are the branches, this sense of abiding and flourishing um, together. I wonder what oneness with Christ means for you. I wonder what images come up for you. I wonder what feelings come up. I wonder um, what experiences that you've had that have led you closer to that experience of oneness with Christ, if you've had something like that or you've longed for something like that. And I, and I wonder too if, if you might, um, if we might hear anew an invitation that brings us closer into oneness with Christ um, these days. You know, I think sometimes we have these destinations, right? These lofty ideals, like becoming one with Christ, and we're like, yeah. And then it's hard to know kind of how to get there, or how we move from where we are to to that um, that kind of destination. Especially when, for many of us, that journey looks pretty different. Um, oneness is a challenge for us, I think, too, in our in our ideals, in our in our sense of what it means is people to be unified with one another, with, uh, with God. 
we have a lot of questions that come up. So I just want to make space today for those images, for those feelings, for those ideas, for those longings, for the, the challenges of it all. What is being one with Christ feeling like to you? What does it mean? What does it look like? So I just wanted to create this open space here for, for some of that, for your imagination, for your um, contemplation, for your journey um, this week. So I do invite you to keep, uh, keep praying this prayer with me as we come together for worship on Sunday. We will celebrate communion again. What a beautiful place to consider being one with Christ because this is um, there's so much about our table imagery, our table um, prayer, our table experience that is meant to bring us into union um, with Christ. And so I invite you to ponder this very thing. Friends, there is also a, before we get to Sunday, there's a Juneteenth um, picnic cookout um, on Saturday with our Mount Pisgah AME church family, brothers, sisters, um, just a few blocks away from our church, um, but uh, so many beautiful ways that we experience life similarly and also quite differently um, as a church, a predominantly um, black African-American church um, with Wesleyan roots, but um, paths that have taken different different views, different different directions in this world. So we come together to fellowship, to just be together, to, to connect, to celebrate, um, uh, our siblinghood and um, to let that Holy Spirit do its work of connecting us. Um, so we come open and ready to share food, to share our own experiences, to listen well to one another. So I look forward to seeing you on Saturday. Um, and you can find other things that are going on in the life of the church. We've got Vacation Bible School coming up very soon. Um, and we are doing a lot of things this summer to get ready for the fall. And um, small groups are coming. We have had some experiences of small groups in the past, but we're doing uh, kind of a new, um, new presentation of small groups. So keep a lookout for more information about that over the next couple of months. And I look forward to journeying through that with you as well. Friends, there is so much to be grateful for, so much to pray about. I don't know if you can see on the window here, but it is very hazy. Um, we're all experiencing the uh, particulate filled air. So we pray for all who are affected by this, particularly those people who are in close proximity to the wildfires in Canada, who are working to put them out, and all those who are affected really across um, so much distance by, uh, by it. Um, so prayers for one another, prayers for for all that we are experiencing and many others are too in this world today. Friends, remember that you are enough because God is enough. Remember that you were created for joy and may we um, continue to let the Holy Spirit do her work in us to bring us together, to bring us into unity with God and one another. I will see you soon. Blessings on your journey this week.